this is our third day here in uh, Bangkok and today we are actually about we're all ready <laughs> but I couldn't transfer the files from my memory card to my computer or download them so I have to do it and it says it's gonna take an hour that's how much footage I've already uh, used up but anyway the plan for today is going to be more temples because we just learned that there are so many temples here in Thailand uh, all over the country and of course there are some well a lot here uh, in Bangkok and I found out that the reason there are a lot of temples is because it really is part of their life like the Buddhist lifestyle where temples are used for education there are actually schools in there actually when we went to what temple was that the Watfa. you can hear school children you know next door so it's a part of the fabric of their life so it's all interspersed in the whole landscape of the city you can see them everywhere you go and so it's also a place where they congregate as a place where they will do their rituals just to gather, to meet up with people. And I also found out that some men from the age 20, I believe, I don't know if that is still practiced now or if that was just uh, part of their history, was that men ages 20 and above will start to go into or are required to go into these temples to learn how to be monks uh, and also it is a place for worship they come to worship uh, and they come for healing obviously it's also a place for tourists to descend upon and it is worth it everybody should come at least and visit but anyway i'm sporting my new dress that i got for 300 baht 350 so all i know is that 200 is six dollars so this is about less than ten dollars and it's really nice check it out look it's cute so i have to wear something modest <laughs> because we are going to the temple so anyway that is it too much talking if you haven't subscribed yet please do so so you can follow along if you haven't watched any of my Singapore or Malaysia um, videos, they are already posted depending on when you watch this. But go check those out. I've added them in the description below. And I hope you enjoy. And I hope you come and visit these three beautiful countries in Southeast Asia. They have drinking water and soda here that you can buy because it's really warm. There's a lot of tour groups. I think we just got to where you have to buy the tickets. Yeah, it's right here, the entrance. It's 500 baht per individual. So, and there they have strict rules on what you can and cannot wear. You cannot have crop tops, you cannot have even uh, uh, jeans that are skinny jeans you cannot wear that so just keep that in mind you got it we got it okay and so part one for visiting the grand palace the temple of the emerald buddha and then part two is the kingdom museum then part three there's a classical dance at one oh if we make it and we are about to enter right here. How exciting. I 
So we are inside the Grand Palace grounds. I don't know where the orientation is yet. There are so many tour groups here. We are about to enter the Temple of the Emerald Buddha. These are the restrictions. No smoking, no drones, no pet allowed. And they will inspect your, your bags. Look at that! Wow! Wow! So you can get free tours here if you want. This is amazing! Look at that! Wow! I don't know how else to describe this, guys. This is grand. So we take off our shoes. And then we go in. So let's see, I'm so excited. This is huge guys. This is huge. So this is the entrance here. No video or photo inside. This grand house. So I'm about to get in and we cannot videotape inside so I took something from outside now I'm gonna go in because you cannot take videos or photographs. So let's see what is inside. You can take pictures right here. You can have somebody stand up here and take pictures. This is the cafe, the crackers, some sandwiches. We had to stop by because it's really hot. But we found a cafe right outside the Grand Palace. And we have a ham and cheese sandwich, 
tuna sandwich and I got a Roselle juice for 170 but that's less than six bucks. It's six dollars if you were somewhere in the States. It's really good, but it's a nice place. Look. Oh, it's good. It's so refreshing. This is the Roselle. It's cute. It was 50 baht each. Even our, our phones, our cameras are all hot. <laughs> Amazingly, there are so many people. Even cobblers. There's something to say about the bread in Asia. Whether you're in Singapore, Malaysia, or here in Thailand, or for that matter in the Philippines, we have good bread. It's really good. Okay, so we're now done with lunch. We are headed out to get some uh, grab a taxi or whatever to go to the next um, temple. It is where the giant swing is. So I'm afraid to go out because it's hot again. <laughs> so, but we've cooled down and now it's just time to go back out. We were right next to the AC. <laughs> There's a whole row of cannon all the way there. Huh. And they have names at the bottom. This one is staring at me. We found a mall, Thai souvenirs, yummy sweets. Oh, ate. Ate. <laughs> That's cute. And all the bikes on the walls. Oh, there's something to see over there. Look. Oh, yeah, it is something. Let's take a look. Oh, wow. A restaurant and bakery. Boats. I like that dress. That's a cute dress. How much is that? How much is this? Five seven. That's cute. Where do we get grab here? Grab car. But where can we have them pick us up here? You can? Okay. Okay, thank you. This is the Hop on Hop Off River boat. Oh, 18,000 dinner cruise. Look at that. That's what Arun, Ate? No. Very nice. I don't know what we found, but we found a really nice place. Uh, it's a mall, Mata Amulet Market. Ooh, Amulet Market, I think. Thai best restaurant. Let's see the street markets here. Oh, they sell amulets here. We found the place to make Buddhas. It's always good to get lost you find the most unusual things. More over there.
can take the grab whether it's a taxi or a car we suggest you do it like especially in the summer um, well I think it's only wet and rainy season here so whenever it's really in the middle of the day it's really worth it to save your um, health energy. <laughs> and energy because you'll be walking inside the temples too So we made it to what they call the giant swing, but there's no swing. But it is a temple though, that's the temple, Wat Suta Repuaraman. So we're gonna check it out and see what's inside. Okay. Oh, you gotta look left, oh my god, we were looking right. So this is it. What is it? The temple of the center. And this seems like to be a rotunda. Right here. So we're gonna go inside and see what's inside. It's different and it's beautiful. I think everybody is at the Grand Palace because there's nobody here. No one even checked our ticket. So if you want to see a temple that is quiet, then come here. You see these Buddhas. So you got all of these. You got all of these. All the way to the other side. And then you see this amazing, amazing temple right there. It's beautiful. And it has the pagodas on this one. So we are now up here, and there's the giant swing across. You have to leave your shoes again, and then you can put in some donation of course with the upkeep and then you can light the candle here and put some flowers here
his cell phone over there. Yes. 